Good morning, everybody. It is Thursday and almost the weekend. I cannot wait for this weekend. There's so much stuff that I want to get done. But as always, not enough time to actually do it. So we're heading to work now. So today I have a couple of different setup meetings. Setup meetings for a client meeting. We have a big kind of new business pitch coming up today and tomorrow. So I've been talking about how like how busy I've been, and that's definitely something that contributes to it. Something that's always super awkward is when I'm in here talking to you guys on the camera, and then because I'm in here by myself and someone else walks in and people look at me like, like who is that guy? But I don't care. Oh, also why I'm reaching up here is because I always hang my Topeak bag up here because it's just easier to get stuff in and out and lock my bike up. But getting ready to head in, so I will see you guys after work. What's up guys? Just got out of work and I am headed home. Today has actually been a cool day for my YouTube world because I actually got a particularly high number of messages from people like asking questions or making comments. I love it when you guys do that. But it brought up some interesting things that I kind of want to talk about. So I think I'm going to pull over and talk about it. What I wanted to talk about was actually something that came up in a couple of the messages that I got from various people today. Like I said, I got a bunch of messages today, which is super awesome. I love it when you guys send me messages or leave comments below. So if you have any of those, just feel free to do it. The major thing that came up was that people were concerned that they don't see Allison in the vlog enough. And I was wondering like, where is she? Like, why is she not around? Why is she not in the vlog? And the short answer is to that, and also will be the answer to a couple of these other questions, is that I shoot about like eight to, uh, I have to Jolly Ranch earlier, my tongue's all red, like eight to 15 minutes of video a day that makes it into this vlog. So that leaves like the other like 16, 17 hours a day that I am up and awake and like moving around and doing things that doesn't get into this vlog. So Allison is definitely around, but you just don't get a chance to see her very often because she's not making the vlog or she's not with me at that moment. The other question was, does Allison not like being in the vlog because we don't see her very much? Very closely related to the first question. But the answer to that is Allison and I have a wonderful relationship. We love each other so much. But Allison has her blog that I've featured on this, this vlog before, and I have my vlog, obviously. So the biggest thing with that is we each have our own creative outlets, and we love to like do things together. Like I've featured her in this vlog before, and if you didn't see that, click right here. It was a chance that I showed a photo shoot of hers. But she just lets me have my own creative outlet and not have her involved. So if you guys want to see her more, I'll do my best to bring her in here. But I assure you, it's not been on purpose or anything like that. And lastly, the last comment that was made, I actually received several messages kind of throwing some shade at me and especially at Allison for comments around like, we saw that you clean the house and you do a bunch of stuff around there and we don't see Allison doing anything. Like, does she actually do anything around the house? All the time we see her in the vlog is when she's laying around. And maybe this is me just defending my future wife, and which I'm definitely doing. But again, we only show you guys like eight to 15 minutes of video a day. So you don't get to see everything that Allison does. And a lot of times it's just from my perspective, you don't see you know, the things that she does, which is not fair to her. So in synopsis, I say of all of those things because if you have anything or any comments or questions about my life or Allison or how we interact, like please feel free to comment below. I love your comments, whether it's positive, negative, feedback, what you want to see more of, what you want to see less of. I love interacting with you guys and I've been shooting you guys messages back, but I kind of wanted to get out of my soapbox, so now I'm done. Let's head home. All right, so I just got home now. Walked in the door and the place is empty. And I was very confused at first. I was like, where, Allison, where the heck is everybody? But I remembered that today, 
because she stayed home again from work, she wasn't feeling well, that she had a haircut today. And today's haircut is like to get prepped for like the way she wants to wear her hair on the wedding. I haven't seen anything, I don't know anything about like what she's wearing, how she's wearing anything for the wedding. We're not doing what you call like a first look, which is where like we technically see each other before we get married. We're doing like old school, we don't see each other till like since the day before. But she texted me earlier and said like, I hope you like my hair, I have to get like a lot cut off. So, I don't know what a lot cut off is, but I like love Allison's long hair, so it should be interesting to see what it's like when she gets home. All right, I'm not looking. See, it's not that much shorter. It's not that much shorter. It looks nice. Yeah, she put in like more layers. It's like it, it seems like st stringy or something. Yeah. It doesn't sound good. No, like thin, like not bad. <laughs> not like super th over thin. Yeah, it looks like sh Allison. <laughs> I was like, stringy doesn't sound good. No, it looks beautiful. Thank you. Yeah, looks nice. Thank you. Now you're all set and ready to go. Yeah. It's been kind of a long week. I'm really tired. This morning it kind of caught up to me. I got up kind of late. Normally I get up around like 4 a.m. like you guys know but I didn't get up until like 5.15, 5.30 today, which I know, I'm a degenerate, right? Getting up that late. But I am just really tired right now. So, Allison's getting ready to make us some dinner. I'm just kind of laying on the couch, sort of just kind of hanging out right now. But I, I have to go to work like really early tomorrow. Um, this week, as any of you that have been following my vlogs, there's been like a ton of like big meetings like in a row. And I just found out today that I have to go to New York again, so we're gonna be going to New York in like a week and a half. I have to actually go out on a Sunday and then come back on a Wednesday. So not this Sunday, but next, we're gonna be heading to New York City. I'm also getting really close to being super excited to trim my beard. Like this is just like gross and kind of nasty. It's like unkempt, but when I talked to my barber, he said like, don't cut it just yet. Let's wait till the wedding gets a little closer and then we're gonna cut it in. But I am super excited for that day. How's it coming in here? Great. What are you doing? Chopping broccoli. Broccoli, huh? Lots of broccoli. We're gonna have broccoli forever. Broccoli's forever. So one of the things that makes thinking about leaving our apartment is our view in the evenings. For some reason, I really, really love our apartment in the evening time, and I'll show you why. Like, just look at, look at this view. I love, I love, love, love this view. And even like the other way too. Like if I look up the other way, it's great too. Like at nighttime, when the sun bounces off the skyline like that, I just think it's so awesome. sit on my porch because it's just so nice like I said I enjoy the view it's the only outdoors I really get and I, I love the outdoors I miss the outdoors I love to fish I love to hunt and I don't really get that in the city so this is about as outdoors as I get when the guys and I were down in Kentucky for my bachelor party we all or at least most of us picked up some of these cigars and they're actually got like a really cool wrap job I'm not sure if you can see that but um, we got them at Buffalo Trace so if you didn't see our tour of um, the 
distilleries, and particularly the day that we went to Buffalo Trace, you can click the exclamation point in the corner of the screen up there, and you can uh, check that out for yourself. What point in life are you getting to, Allison? The point in life when all I, I just want meat and cheese to snack on. My wife just wants meat and cheeses all the time. <laughs> Reason number 978 as to why I'm marrying her. <laughs> All right guys, we just got done with dinner a little while ago. We were kind of unwinding at the end of the night. We were just uh, sitting down watching some Got Love videos. If you haven't seen Got Love or their channel, uh, it's our friends Kyle and McKenna Got. They live in Okinawa, Japan right now. They've been going all around in Asia last month when they were on vacation. Um, but also, if you're in the US and you aren't familiar with Okinawa, Japan, it's really awesome. So you can click right here and go check out their channel. I've referenced them before. Um, really good friends of ours. But go check them out. Tomorrow is going to suck. I'm normally an optimistic person, but it is no already it's gonna be a long day but it's Friday things to look forward to glass half full I'm not sure what this was all right because it's been a stressful week so far Allison's been a little sick I had an idea and back in like the olden days right if you were really sick or even during prohibition right so if you were sick during prohibition in the state of Kentucky you could actually get a prescription during prohibition for whiskey it was called medicinal whiskey and actually one of the whiskey distilleries that we went to was a place called buffalo trace buffalo trace was either the only or one of the only bourbon distilleries to stay open or at the time whiskey distilleries during prohibition and while i was there i've mentioned this in a previous vlog i bought a product called white dog and White Dog is the name of the product that they have that once it comes out of the still, right? So once it goes through their full distillation process right before they put it into the barrels, there's laws about how like high of a proof that the alcohol can have before it goes into a barrel. And sometimes they have to water it down a little bit. So the White Dog though is just straight what comes off and it is 62 and a half percent alcohol which for any of you that know your math really well that is 125 proof this is some some white dog <laughs> that's what this is since allison has been sick in the idea of medicinal whiskey we are going to give allison some white dog and just for fun I will try it as well. We're not going to do full shots. We're not trying to get like messed up or anything. It's kind of not my style anyway. Okay, but good. <laughs> even though I collect this stuff, I want to try it. I want to open it. That's okay. It doesn't bother me too bad. But unlike the white dog, I am never going to open this one. So if you remember, this is the one that's specially made for me just for my bachelor party. Super rare. Can't get anywhere else but Maker's Mark. But Let's try the white dog. Let me take a sip of this. You don't sip. We're not doing the full situation. I feel like this is gonna kill all the, the germs. Yeah, medicinal whiskey. Mom, I'm sorry I'm using my teeth. Yeah, I had braces and so I'm not trying. Sorry. So it has like a cool top. I don't know about this, but I really like this top. It's got like a little tab on it and then like a corky looking thing in it. I don't know if I want to smell it. It smells so good. So, really? A thing, a part of a bourbon, right, is it has to be at least 52% corn. That's like a rule of bourbon. I didn't know if you You've if learned you knew that. so much. <laughs> I've learned so much from the bourbon trail. I'm so informed. <laughs> but the light is really bad in here. But it smells like corn. Smell it. It doesn't smell that bad. It's the corn. It smells like the mash. It smells like cornmeal. Good guess. It smells like cornmeal. Okay, so we're just getting a little bit. Again, we're not trying to get messed up or nothing. But Gagging this already. is the white dog. All right, so Allison's gonna take her drink first, 
and then I'll take mine in all fairness. So this is the white. In all fairness, you're making this sound worse. Just take the shot, dear. <laughs> you don't have to shoot all of it. Just a, I'm just, just taking a sip. A sip. A good this point. reminds me of when I did. What's the Chicago alcohol that tastes like weeds in a Malort? <laughs> <laughs> if you guys haven't had Malort and you're from Chicago, you're messing up. If you ha don't know what I'm talking about with Malort, you need to come to Chicago and just as a rite of passage, take a shot or at least a drink of Malort. I'll let you figure out whether it's good or bad. It tastes like soggy weeds. Alright, so go ahead. What do you think? <coughs> it's a white dog, isn't it? Alright, so here uh, we go. Here's to all of you. Ooh, that white dog. That white dog. You can definitely taste the corn mash though, can't you? So, do you have that feeling like in your chest right now? That little warm feeling? Yeah. It's called the Kentucky Hug. It's called the Kentucky Hug? Kentucky Hug. That sounds so much more desirable. Than right? So if you want the Kentucky Hug, you need to find you some good bourbon. Alright guys, well on that note, with the good old Kentucky Hug sending us out, we're going to be signing off with you guys. Thanks for sticking with us today. If you liked this video please be sure and click the like button down there we would really appreciate it if you have any thoughts for us or any comments please be sure to comment in the comment section below and if you haven't done so already be sure to subscribe it's a little red button right down there if you haven't done so already right here it's it's right right down here right no it's down here it's on this here. side that side right there all right guys we love you we appreciate you goodbye <laughs>